Hey guys, for today's video, I made a diorama that was really heavy on 3D printed parts, and Elegoo was kind enough to send me their Mars 2 Pro 3D printer for free to check out and show you guys on the channel. So this is what it looks like when you unbox it. The design is pretty similar to a lot of resin 3D printers in this size, but being the 2 Pro version, it has some upgrades to it. I started taking out everything that I would need to set up the machine. And when you first set it up, and before you start printing with it, you have to level the build plate. So I put the seal on the lid and set it aside. To level the build plate, you have to take the tank out and loosen the two bolts on the build plate. Then you tell the machine to go home and you use a piece of paper and slightly raise the build plate until there's just a little bit of friction between the paper and the build plate. Then you can set it to zero and get ready for your first print. Eloku walks you through this process really well in their instructions. So I filled it with resin and I started the Elegu test print, which is these two rook pieces. They seem to come out pretty well, despite me having a little bit of a hard time getting them off the build plate because they were so adhered to it. And then this was the first piece for the diorama that I printed, which was a couch. This diorama is based on this photo that was taken by the proper people. They are the best Urban Explorer YouTubers in my opinion. They go to some amazing places and they take very good care of them. The link to their YouTube is in the description. So they took this photo when they went to an abandoned mansion that had so many awesome details architecturally and when I saw this thumbnail I thought it would be an awesome piece to try to recreate with 3D printing. My wife helped me make the cushions, and I'm not going to actually show that process. You're going to have to go over to Bentley House Mini's channel and watch her tutorial on it that we followed. Let's just say she makes it look easy and we struggled a little bit to make it work. I'll link her video in the description as well. So I first used my airbrush to make it more of this yellow brown color, and then I took my brown pigment powder and started dirtying it up in all the creases. This is the second couch with a different type of fabric, and I'm doing basically the same thing. Because I'm basically in 1 12th scale for this diorama, I had to print this door in two pieces. It's the only thing that I'm thinking I need going forward in a 3D printer is maybe a larger format one that can print seven or eight inches long for some of these bigger pieces in 112 scale. Otherwise, the Elgu Mars 2 Pro worked perfectly for what I needed it to do. I didn't have any failed prints, that wasn't my fault, and it printed very fast, to be honest. The detail you can get is amazing, and with the monochrome screen, it lasts a lot longer than the original LCD resin printers. Before I get into all the other 3D printed parts, I'm gonna make the structure. So what I've been doing with all the walls is using chipboard and cutting out places where I'm doing this wainscoting. I used some dollhouse trim pieces to make up the wainscoting and then I used some joint compound on all the flat surfaces to make it look kind of like a plaster wall and to give a nice texture to it. To get this effect, I kind of just stippled on some really thin down paint with the foam brushes. Then I did my liquid latex technique and here I'm using an eraser to start peeling it off. Now I'm doing it a second time so that I have multiple layers of different color of paint to make it look like there were different layers over the years. And then I decided to use a brown wash in different areas to dirty it up some more. So again here I had to print these large windows for the doors in two pieces to make it long enough and I'm just gluing them together here. Then I started to make a frame around them with balsa wood to make up the rest of the door. This is a piece of plastic sheet that I'm using for the windows.
Then I brushed on a little bit of that old gold color again, just to make it look like it's worn metal. So if you've been wondering what 3D printer might be good for you and your models, if you're looking for something pretty basic but has a lot of detail, the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro is a pretty good option. It's very user friendly. It's one of the biggest brands, so there's a lot of info and community around it. And it really is pretty reliable. It matches very closely to the other 3D printer that I've been using for quite a while now the Anycubic Photon Mono. They're both monochrome screens, similar build sizes. This Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, however, is a little bit more of an upgraded version, just like Anycubic has. And so it has a couple features like a carbon filter so that it doesn't smell quite as much in the room and a couple other refinements. I would absolutely recommend either printer. Sticking with the theme, I have some exciting news to share. I finally got a website put together where I have some of these 3D models that I've designed up for sale where you can just download them and print them in your own 3D printer. I know quite a few of you have been asking and now that it's up, each time I do a new video I'll likely have new 3D models from that up for sale for you to download. Also there's a perk at some of the higher tiers on my Patreon to get some of these 3D downloads for free each month as well. So if any of that interests you, check out the links in the description below. Every little thing helps to support this channel and lets me do even cooler projects in the future. Most of the models I'm using today in this diorama are for sale right now. At this point, I did a coat of chipping fluid on these lamps. Once that was dried, I started brushing on this old gold paint. And the idea is once this is dry, I can put a little bit of water on the brush and start agitating that paint. And the chipping fluid underneath will basically release and we can chip the paint. So here I'm trying to chip the paint. Sometimes it can be a slow process. You can use um, a harder brush or a toothpick or something like that as well but it ends up looking really well. It just make, gives us a really worn look to it. I printed these little lampshade frames that I could roll a piece of paper onto using some spray adhesive to make it look like it was an actual lampshade. And then I used some watered down brown paint to make the thing look old and dirty. And this is a lamp that I designed and printed in a clear resin, so it looked like a glass clear see-through lamp. The one in the original photo had a cool little texture to it, and I'm glad that I was able to recreate that pretty well here. I used a small piece of brown thread to act as the little hanging wire for this picture frame. For this picture frame, it's going to be on one of the tables. I printed out this tiny black and white photo. These are some suitcases that I designed and 3D printed. And to try and make them look like they are actually fabric suitcases, I stippled down the paint in a couple different layers. And I'm going to dirty them up quite a bit later. These just came from a little pack of dollhouse books from the hobby store. And after these, I'm going to move on to making the ceiling. To start the ceiling, I took a piece of foam board and started putting some of this red rusty color all over it. Then I glued down some of the screen material. To start making some water damage and grime, I took some texture paste and mixed it with some paint and I'm putting that in different areas, stippling it on with a brush and then I'm going to layer it with different colors. Now 
This is some corrosion texture paste from AK Interactive. It's my first time using it. It looked interesting and I wanted to try it. So I basically just paint it on there and it gives it this gritty texture, which you can then go in and color a rust color or whatever you want, but it gives a nice base texture. So then I glued these metal beams in and then I started rusting everything up. To do the rust, I used a couple different shades of rust pigment powder and used some isopropyl alcohol to use as a binder, kind of make it stick better. And I got it all over the beams as well. And then I used some joint compound as plaster on the ceiling. The original photo seemed to have a lot of this that was kind of broken down and fallen down with rust and corrosion showing through and water damage. And so I just wanted to try and recreate that here. The corners of the ceiling look like maybe it used to have some detailed trim, but it was kind of broken and worn. So I used these pieces of foam board to make kind of steps. And then I put joint compound all over it to make it look like it was plaster and I textured that to make it look like it had been breaking and worn over time. Now I started staging some of the pieces of furniture to see how exactly I wanted it to lay out. Adding some dusty colored pigment powder to everything was one of my favorite parts. I forgot to film it, but I did put that hanging picture frame on the wall before it was done. Now I'm just putting the ceiling on top and I think we're ready for the final shots. Big thanks to Elegoo for sending me their Mars 2 Pro to try out on the channel. This video isn't sponsored by them, but they did provide it to me for free with no obligation for a good review or anything like that, just that I show my experience with it. Make sure you go check out the Proper People's channel down in the description. Also, the links to my website for the 3D models and my Patreon are there as well. Those are both awesome ways to help support the channel and allow me to keep doing cool projects in the future. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.